Hello everyone, this is my little introduction to CSER.C and I will go through a little walkthrough as to how to do this and why I used what I used. So let's get started. First, in CSER.C, you got to make sure to know which libraries you're going to use. So you put your main ones that you always put, which is include as tdio.h and hashtag include cs50.h. Those are the normal ones that you already use. In this case, we're going to use um, two new libraries that you probably may have or have not seen, which is, which are, sorry, string.h in order because we're going to have to use strings here and the c type.h. If you read the Harvard walkthrough for how to do this, you're going to know that your int main is no longer going to be void how we're used of doing this instead it's going to be in int rgc string rgv and the brackets this is just to say that this will not be so far but will still be in the program so first we have an open bracket what we got to do first is to declare our variables Simple as that, sure. I used a bool and I put false, yes. And this equals to false. Okay. Why did I do this? Why did I use a bool type? Well, I use this to determine that any numerical value that is not equal to zero is false. Then, again, once reading through the Harvard article, I wrote that int k equals zero. I'll explain later on what this will function. Then int length, again, I will explain later on what this will work at and why I chose length. <laughs> and then the string text, which is the text that we're going to get from our user. Okay. Then... What we have to do now is to get the input. You get the input of our user. I used a do while loop and inside of this I used an if else loop and I'll explain why. So make sure that your brackets and everything is in line because sometimes you can get errors just because of style and it sucks. So here I put an if statement. There's an if statement I use that it's called RGC. Well, you're seeing it right now. Okay, so this is just to ensure. So RGC is to just read the comment. So RGC is to when the program is run with one command line argument. If it's run with no arguments or more than one arguments, the RGC, which is this function that you're seeing right here, will be true and the message will be printed. So, therefore, I will write So after that, I wrote my print of statement and I wrote not valid. You can write like not correct or wrong, whatever you want. And then this, you should already know this was input a new line. And I put the return one because it's like the main entry function. And this will report back to this if, it's, if it went through or not. So after this, I went with the else function, with the if and else function inside of the do while loop. So I wrote my else function. In this else function, um, in the if and else function, I want to convert my string to an integer. Integer int, it's the same thing. So I read the um, Harvard walkthrough and it says to use a toy RGC in the brackets one. I mean, RGV, excuse me. RGV, this is, well, it just converts the first command line to an integer. Simple as that. But before I do this, it checks the RGV bracket one to check that RGC is greater than one. 
So once that it goes through this check and then it goes back to my bool type that used to be false. And if it goes through my bool type, which I named it yes, is now equal to true. Next, we're going to do the finish the do while loop. So we'll do the while loop. So now I finish my do while loop and I will explain what the while means. I have the while and inside of it, I have the exclamation point and the yes. This is that like, for example, during the loop, I'm saying that this is yes and this is false, this is true. Well, if yes equals to true, then this is going to go to the while loop. And this is just saying that if it turns out to be true, then we will try to read and get the user's input. This is where the text length and the for loop you see there comes in. The text equals get string. Well, remember that in the beginning at the top, I wrote um, right here, string text. And here's what the string text that we're getting from in, um, from our user, from our user. Okay, I had a little mistake there, so yeah, never mind that. So after that, I get the string from it. Then I get the length of it. I use the strlen, and this is, well, just computes the length of the string right here. Hint, hint, this is the reason why I use uh, length as, you know, the name of my integer right here, and I have int length equals zero. Well, now it's gonna compute the length of my string. Not my string, but the string input it inputted into this. After that, I have the for loop. And this for loop, well, if you're in Caesar.c so far, then you have seen the for loop. I'll just give a brief summary of it. And this practically evaluates the input. If it's false, the loop is terminated. If it's true, then the loop is executed. As simple as that. Now we're really close in finishing our program, the Caesar program. And remember that the point of the Caesar program is like the basic of encryption. So it's like, okay, someone inputs a certain amount of letters and difference, and that difference in letters should appear from the original word that you inputted. You'll see the outcome. Because I know I explained it kind of weirdly. But after we finish with this, we're going to start with an if statement and say various else is else. Okay, you might be asking what the hell is an is alpha, it's lower, and stuff like that. Okay. Is alpha is just checks if the letters are in the alphabet. This is just to ensure that people just don't put a question mark. If they put a question mark, then they, it will not be valid. If lower is that it works specifically with lower cases. And I mean that with lowercase letters, not capitals. Okay. Then we're going to print if this part right here is what caused me a lot of crying during this. And I really, really hated it. But after I researched it, it's actually pretty sort of simple. Okay, and we're going to go slow through this. So, percent %c is just a character. It represents the character, and it is actually given to you in the walkthrough uh, where you have to read before doing the Caesar program of, that Harvard provides you with. Then this right here is what translates from 0 to 25, and that means k plus 25. So all this right here. Why 0 to 25? There, you know that there are 26 letters in the alphabet. So 0 to 25, well, if you count well, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. And this 9 is 97, plus 97 is where their orders are at, so they can identify the order of it. So hopefully you understood that. And over here, it's the exact same concept right here. It's the exact same concept. And since it's specifying on lowercase letters, it has to be separate. And then after everything runs, runs through, we're going to print the characters. We're going to print the characters after they go through whatever the whatever the person inputted, which is the text right here, the text plus the number they decided to input. And that will go through. And at the end, we're going to have that decided result. I'm going to show you. So um, now we're done with this, you know, with the Caesar program. And now we're going to check if we run this before I ran it. I actually ran it before I paused the video for a little while and I ran it before I did this because I wanted to make sure everything worked out. I just wanted to tell you guys to Please be careful with these little things right here and the brackets and the spacing because trust me, most of the mistakes were that 
and style based, like a little spacing around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, wrong mirror and error and didn't want to run because of that. So please be careful because of that. So let's continue. And first, let's make sure we're in the right directory. So preset, I have this preset two, as you can see right there. And then remember to save your work. And after you save it, you can make Caesar. Great, I can't even spell Caesar right. So make Caesar. And then we're going to run through it. So we're going to do Caesar 13. Then I'm going to write the word something. It should come out before I write out this. For, for example, is the S, 13 letters after the S is the F. So it should come out as F B Z R G U V A T. Okay, if you press enter, it comes out as exactly like that. Because I made a difference between lowercase and capital letters, uh, we can also test this out with same thing, something, and it'll come as capital F, B, Z, R, G, U, V, A, T. And now we're done with Caesar. Hope this video was very helpful. Hope it wasn't confusing. And now you don't have to spend hours of crying like I did. So thank you guys for listening. And yeah, bye.